Hey everyone, I'm so excited to be filming this video for you. Basically, I'm going to be showing you my newest way that I'm using the Heidi Swap Memory Planner. Now, this is the planner here. I've done a little video before on my first impressions of it, but it's so lovely. What I've done here is I've just um, cut one of the small clear pockets and stuck it down so I can kind of interchange the cards, the Heidi Swap cards. And then here I've got a plastic pocket that comes with the planner and I've printed off some photos and then I've used some of these Heidi Swap memory planner uh, frames that go around the pockets and they're so cute these frames. You get a few in the pack and they're actually cut to the size of the plastic pockets and I'm really excited so I'm actually filming this video in collaboration with the website Sassy Scrapper which I've definitely talked about before, I always rave about it. Sassy Scrapper sells a whole lot of this memory planner product and for the month of March you actually get a free packet of these frames with any purchase of a memory planner. So walk, run, crawl, whatever you want to do to the Sassy Scrappers website and have a look at these memory planners. So there's two you can get, there's a small one that comes in stripes um, and then there's a large one. The small one is about the equivalent of a personal size file of facts and the large one is an A4 size. Um, I have in my other video featuring the memory planner, I had a comparison between the size of the memory planner and the Kiki K planner so you can have a look at that if you want. So what I've started doing is using this as, I guess, like a journal slash scrapbook slash, I don't even know, uh, I don't even know, but I'm really loving how it's going. Now, I was lucky enough to get for a Valentine's Day present, I don't know, that's super random. I was lucky enough to get a Canon selfie printer. Honestly, it's changed my life. Before, I always wanted to print off photos, but I'm just too lazy to go and get them done. But with the selfie printer, it's so easy. And I've been printing off these teeny tiny photos. And I'm trying to capture, I guess, what I've been doing creatively. So, so you can see how tiny it is. I'm trying to capture both what I'm creating and also what I'm being sent, as well as what I'm doing during the week. So that's my husband and my puppy. We went to the drive-ins and we saw uh, How to Be Single and it was so cute. We took our dogs and they loved it. They just slept the whole way through. It was amazing. So I've been printing off these little pictures. I'm using a tutorial by Paper Sweet Pea. So if you want to see how to print those off, I can probably go into a little bit more detail. And then I'll be using um, some of these Heidi Swap products, again from the Sassy Scrappers website to decorate this spread. So I thought I would go full on Heidi Swap this week. So to start off with in my creative process, I usually kind of grab all my bits and pieces as I've shown you. So I've got all my little pictures printed out. I've got a few different sizes just because I like how it looks rather than printing all exactly the same size. So some of the pictures you'll recognize from my Instagram page, some of them I guess I wouldn't have shared because they're not really pretty or relevant, but I really wanted to capture my week, I suppose. So I'm just starting off like I usually do with my planner and laying down some washi tape. And this washi tape's from Washi Tape Australia, who are a really great company. And then I'm grabbing some of these really beautiful Heidi Swap stickers. Honestly, if you capture or create things that have the following gold foil pink and all florals and if you can combine all of those then I will buy it seriously it's as simple as that pink floral gold foil polka dot any of those things then I will purchase and if you buy it put them all together in one well then I will purchase multiple these stickers are so glorious I have no words I don't know if you can see but Floral, gold foil, oh, I, I can't even say anything. So this process, I think it's, it's fairly new to me. It's not something that I've done before using the photos. I have done scrapbooking in the past. I can't say that I'm particularly good at it, but I do like using the photos. So the process I'm doing is really random. 
honestly, there's sort of no rhyme or reason to it other than kind of putting down the photos in the kind of date order that they happened or also kind of relating them back to when I posted them on Instagram as well. And some of you may question my logic behind posting pictures on Instagram and then also printing them off and putting them in a planner, but I actually, I'm a paper person, like I think a lot of you will be, I'm a paper person, and as much as I love having my gallery on Instagram, I also love having paper copy, and there's just something so, I don't know, charming, wonderful about having printed photos, I just, I love looking back at the scrapbooks that I created, even the ones that I did when I was in year nine, which don't even make a lot of sense. But I just love it. So all I'm doing is, I guess, using these gorgeous supplies to, I don't know, capture my week and present it in a way that I'm going to love looking back at it. So these are the Heidi Swap cards that you get in a pack. And you get quite a few of them in the pack. I think it's probably like 20, maybe 30. And they're in two different sizes. I want to say they're like maybe one inch by one inch and then maybe three inches by three inches in squares. Some are just like flowers. Some of them have quotes on them. I'm a big sucker for anything with a quote on it. And I'm just using my glue roller. I bought these ones in Japan and they're really cool. And I was really disappointed when we moved home. I actually lost all the inserts for my glue roller and I wanted to cry because I couldn't use my glue roller anymore. And then I went to Officeworks the other day and I discovered that they were selling the exact kind that I bought in Japan and it honestly made my day. I was so happy. Sorry, I'm rambling a bit. Anyway, I'm going to speed it up a bit because this is going a bit slow. All right, so I've sped it up a little bit. Don't you wish you could craft this fast in real life? Honestly, I would be so productive. So I'm laying down some random strips of washi tape, more stickers. Again, all pretty much everything here is by Heidi Swap. The little quote stickers that you can see on the page, left page of my diary there, they're from Maggie Holmes. Again, I'm pretty sure you can get all of these products. No, I'm not pretty sure. You can get all of these products from the Sassy Scrappers website. And for those of you who don't know, Sassy Scrappers is a Melbourne-based website. Um, it's very similar to scrapbook.com. However, being based in Australia, you do not need to pay $1,000 for shipping, which honestly, paying for shipping is my pet hate. I hate it. So I was so excited to find a website where I could buy all the same product, but not have to pay $1,000 for shipping and also it gets delivered like two or three days after I order. So pretty happy with the side on the right. I usually leave a little bit of blank space so I can do some journaling. Now I don't usually do a lot, mostly because I get to it and I'm like, I actually don't know what to write. Um, I feel like putting the photos in makes it pretty self-explanatory. It's been really fun to actually take photos of my incoming mail and also my outgoing mail. So a lot of the time, the mail that I make, I actually don't photograph because, I don't know, I just, I think I make so much of it that I, I lose track. And I think it's been really fun to actually take photos of it, like every single piece of mail. And it makes me realise, one, like how far I've actually come in terms of making mail, but also... You know, just how fun and different all the mail I make is. And I do try to make every piece of mail unique. Um, and it's just such a fun way to, I guess, document it. And I really wish that I'd done something like this from the start when I first started snail mail because, honestly, my mail style has changed so much in the last few years from just being a couple of pieces of paper and sometimes tied in string to being, like, you know, epic flip books with thousands of pages and 3D embellishments, stickers and washi tape and glitter and everything going on. So it's just been really, really fun, I think, the evolution of mail and I'm looking forward to kind of capturing it this way. 
So um, I used, you'll see that love sticker with the glitter, that's, um, ooh, what collection is that from? It's from the Hello Love sticker collection. Again, you can get that at Sassy Scrappers, it's by Crepe Paper. And then I'm just going to start actually using some dot points to capture my wig. And I use these little hearts again from the Hello Love collection as, I guess, like my bullet points. Um, and I'm just putting the dates on. And this is the good thing about the Heidi Swap Memory Planner is that it's not dated. So a lot of the time I feel quite guilty. I buy these dated planners like I've got, you know, the Erin Condren one is every week's got a date. And to be honest, I think like a lot of people, I don't feel in every week. I actually like some weeks I'm more motivated than others to do like a full spread. And other times I'm just not. And I feel so guilty because... I end up having half a planner that's completely filled and half that's not filled at all. The thing that I like about the Heidi Spot Planner is that I can go back and use the pages if I want to. If you don't use half the planner, it doesn't matter. You can use it again the next year and you can just start from January or whatever and it doesn't matter. And I think that's the good thing about this planner compared to others. All right, I'm going to stop talking at you. I hope you've enjoyed this video. It was a lot of talking. If you liked it, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more. I hope you've enjoyed it and I will see you next time.